Good morrow, my spooks, and happy almost Halloween to you. I am so delighted to see you again back in the Haven. Today we are going to look at some Halloween activities that you can do either single or coupled. So these work if you have a lover to share it with, or if you are your own lover this year, or if you're dating a ghost. I love Valentine's Day. It's something that I've done since I was a small child to give Valentine's to my whole family. It's not necessarily just a romantic thing. So that's why I am particularly fond of Halloween also. It's a chance to bring back the Halloween vibes, mix it in with this lovely holiday, and biggity bam, biggity boom, we've got something that gives us an excuse to look at our Halloween stuff again. I'm gonna be doing an activity with a candle pairing. If you don't know where these candle pairings are coming from, I made an earlier video that is Halloween candle concoction, so you can go and check that out at the end of this video. Halloween activity number one is probably my favorite Halloween activity, which is making Halloween cards. Now this one is very simple. I didn't I didn't go over the top, but you can deck out. What, what I usually do is go to Dollar Tree, I find some Valentine's Day cards, and then I deck them out with some spooky stuff. Now again, this is kind of under underwhelming, under exaggerated, but you can go as exaggerated as you want. You can make this essentially a Halloween card in the middle of February. Take a regular Valentine's Day card, add some spooky stickers, add some fun things, and then you put your Halloween phrases on the inside. Now, if you are having trouble coming up with some Halloween phrases, fear not, I have some suggestions for you. You could have something like a ghost, and it's saying, please don't ever ghost me, and some broken hearts or something like that. You could also have like a pumpkin that says, Valentine, I pick you. Really cheesy. Um, <laughs> or you could have two ghosts together that say soulmates. Now, if you are watching this because you love candles and you love somebody who loves candles, I love love you more than candles. And then you could have a picture of your favorite candle, perhaps the witch's brew or something along those lines. Okay, now we have come to the category of racy Yankee candle Halloween references. So if you're really, if you've got a, a lover who is into the Halloween Yankee candles niche, this is going to be for them. Now I have to admit, this one needs some work. It's not, the, the phrasing is not quite as refined as it could be, but the idea here is every time you walk into the room, I get a bony bunch. And again, the phrasing could be different. You give me a bony bunch, honey, you, Honey, you are the bony bunch in my pants. I'm not sure, but something along the lines of, of you get it. There's an innuendo with the bony bunch. It's an untapped market. Put it in your Halloween card, okay? This next one, I would like to haunt your hollow. And again, this is supposed to go on the inside of the card. So you could write, I would like to haunt your hollow and then put a picture of haunted hollow or you give me a bony bunch, put a picture of your favorite bony bunch. Obviously you get the idea. Conceptually, they stand on their own, I think as well. The last one, damn girl, are you a 14.5 ounce medium original apothecary jar from 2014? Because I would like to see those ghostly treats. I have my candle pairing for this being red hots by the fire. So I suggest writing your Halloween cards to a red hots by the fire candle pairing. Moving on, this next Halloween activity is involving the bath, the bubble bath in fact. And that is to use some of your old Halloween bath products, give yourself and or your partner a luxurious experience of using up the Halloween products that are still sitting around from the fall. I have a number of Halloween products that I haven't fully gotten through yet. This is from a brand called Twisted Allure. This is a sugar scrub and I have some things from Lush. This is a little mummy bath bomb. This one's a pumpkin bath bomb and another bat, a bat art bath bomb. So you get the idea. Look and see if you have any stuff that you haven't used up yet that you need to. You might even get a hibernating skeleton to come and help you and scrub your back and help you out in the bath there. There is actually a practical point to this. Some of these bath bombs, they don't work a well a year later. So it's there's not a whole lot of sense to keeping them around. So I do need to use these up while they are still effervescent and things like this you just want to use this up anyway because you don't want them just harboring your bacteria for an entire year so there is a practical reason to use up your bath and body care and the candle pairing that I have for this activity is spooky rose this next activity actually goes really well with a bath and that is paying homage to the trilogy that changed all of our lives known as Twilight now I 
hear you. Twilight, that waste of time. No, 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 it is not. If you cannot appreciate Twilight, I ask you this, do you have any appreciation for camp at all? Twilight is a cultural phenomenon. We cannot deny that. And it is important to pay homage to it to realize where we are in this state in humanity. We must realize that our collective consciousness has bubbled up to rally around something as ridiculous as Twilight. And I do think that that needs our full reverence and attention once a year at least. And Halloween is the time to do it. We have romance, we have spookiness, it's a vampire. In the background even, have Twilight playing. If you want to read Twilight in your bath, you can read Twilight to your lover, you can read Twilight to yourself. But it is a good Halloween activity. Do something Twilight themed just for the heck of it, why not? So obviously I called this scent concoction greens and perfume, and in parentheses, vampire lover. So this would be my concoction suggestion for that. Our final activity is a little bit more reverent, a little bit more meaningful than Twilight, and that is to take yourself or you and your lover on a spooky romantic cemetery walk. Yes, a cemetery walk for Valentine's Day. I think that that sounds really lovely. Now, some reasons why you might want to do this. First of all, it's just nice to reflect, reminisce on the fact that life is limited. We don't have unlimited time in this world. So when we walk amongst the dead, we remind ourselves that our time is limited and our time with our loved ones is limited. It can help us to reflect on an appreciation of those that we really, really love in our lives. The other thing that you could do is visit the grave of anyone who you have lost that you love as well. Maybe put a Halloween card on their grave. Maybe not a racy Yankee candle one, but any other type of Halloween card. It's also just a nice thing to do in the winter time to take a look at the bare trees against the sky and really appreciate the beauty of winter. Once you're all done with your walk and you're nice and chilly, you can come back in and you can have some hot chocolate and you can feast on some chocolate covered berries. I have a chocolate covered strawberry here and our friend Virgil was kind enough to prototype a chocolate covered cherries scent as well. Now, I don't think that this is going to be out in time for Halloween, but maybe for next Halloween. This is such a strong chocolate scent. It smells, it's making me hungry right now, but this is a gorgeous chocolate and cherry scent. He nailed this. Uh, thank you, Virgil. But if you, uh, if you wanna try and make this chocolate cherries concoction, that would be good for a post cemetery walk. Well, my friends, I hope that you have enjoyed this little foray, this little venture into what you might do to celebrate Halloween this year, to pay homage to Halloween, to death, to spookiness, and to love all at the same time. I appreciate you being here, love having you in the Haven, and I hope to see you again soon. And to you, I am sending all of my spooky love. All right, see you again. Bye.